Ryan Muller was a man many looked up to. He's really, really tall and he has a very, very big smile. And he charmed people of all ages. He was so good with kids. He was so good with kids. He was good with his siblings. He was good with his um, niece and nephew. The 21-year-old from Biloela had recently moved to Rockhampton to work for Depco Drilling. And as a lover of cars, his Holden Ute was his pride and joy. When he first got his first car, he actually spent the night sleeping in it, which is a bit of a weird thing. He said it was the most uncomfortable sleep he'd ever have, but he wouldn't have missed it for the world. Ryan's aunt Bree, who's lost three young family members to road crashes, feared her nephew would see the same fate. Ryan, not so long ago, got a bit of a lecture from me. Yeah, he promised me that he would take it easy on the road and, and uh, you know, you just you can only hope. Ryan was driving on Valentine Plains Road on Friday night with his mate Matthew Tat. Just after nine o'clock, the ute spun out of control on gravel around a bend and careered into a tree. Matthew was airlifted to a Brisbane hospital. Ryan died at the scene. Police are still investigating the cause of the crash, but it's believed the ute was travelling at high speed. And all we can do is uh, appeal to the, the young people is to think what you're doing, you know, have a good think and hopefully you know, your aim should be to get home to your family and your loved ones safely. A Facebook page set up in Ryan's memory has already attracted more than 1,100 supporters and the scene of the accident is laden with tributes. Ryan's family hope the death will touch young drivers just as Ryan's life touched so many. Slow down. We'd rather that they were 10 minutes late than arriving dead on time. You might not have had an accident yet but you might be also like Ryan and you only have one accident and that's it. Sally Prosser, 7 News.